Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it would be really fun and festive if we just sat down and painted a pumpkin together. I kind of just want to do something very easy, very relaxed for this week because I have had a very busy and stressful week, so I hope you guys don't mind. I just want to talk to you guys a little bit, have some fun, play some music, I don't know, get crazy, and um, start painting. <laughs> So I've actually been doing a lot of Halloween themed activities this month, as you can tell from the past few videos on my channel. Last week I went to the pumpkin patch in 20 years of living. I have never been to a pumpkin patch, so that was pretty exciting. But like honestly, if we're being real here, if we're keeping it 100, it's not all that, you know? Everyone always says like, oh I had such a fun time at the pumpkin patch, but honestly you know that you just show up, take pictures, and leave. <laughs> Like when you're an adult, the pumpkin patch isn't that fun unless you have kids. And that's what I realized. It's not fun unless you have kids or if you are a kid. There were like activities and things to do over there, but that costed like money for tickets and stuff. And like, I just couldn't be bothered. Like I just didn't, <laughs> I didn't want to, you know? But I did vlog some of it. I actually was going to make that its own video. But I literally only got like two minutes of content, maybe, if anything. And so I thought that that would be really boring and I thought no one would want to watch that. So while I finish painting my pumpkin black, I'm going to play a little montage for you of my trip to the pumpkin patch. weekend I got this water bottle this venom water bottle from the like because I'm part of like the Cinemark movie club I don't know if you guys know what that is um, I feel like such a nerd saying that but I basically get like one free ticket every month which is pretty cool because I do go often um, and I guess I racked up enough points to get like a free reward or whatever so I got this water bottle but the cool thing about this water bottle is that it's also a speaker like Okay, so I finished painting the pumpkin black, so now it's time to move on to the next step, which I will not tell you guys about. Moving on to the next topic of discussion. I have been watching so many Halloween movies this month, and the reason being is because growing up I never watched any of the classic like Disney old Halloween themed movies. And I know what you're thinking, like, girl, what are you talking about? You're crazy. Do you live under a rock? And uh, my answer to that is yes. I did live under a rock, a very, very religious rock. I was not allowed to partake in any of the Halloween activities or festivities. I wasn't allowed to watch any any movies about witches, about ghosts, spirits, ghouls, monsters, well monsters not really, but like mostly like witches, especially witches. So I wasn't able to watch Twitches, I wasn't able to watch Hocus Pocus, Halloween Town, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, anything you can think of. I was not allowed to watch it. So this year I basically just been really playing catch up on my childhood. So far, I've seen Halloween Town, all of the movies, Hocus Pocus, which was iconic. I see why everyone is so crazy about it and why it's like a classic Halloween movie. Twitches 1 and 2, I saw that last year actually. Um, I saw Coraline the other day, which I've seen before. What else? I saw Monster House the day after that. And actually, yesterday, I saw Halloween, the new 2018 Halloween movie. It was really good. Like, it was really good. I don't know. Like, maybe it's just me, because, like, I grew up watching bits and pieces of those movies, like, at my cousin's house, because he used to be, like, obsessed with, like, horror movies. So, um, that's where <laughs> I was able to watch those movies. It was really nice to, like, kind of watch it end. I don't know. I thought it was really good. There was a little bit of a plot twist at the end, and it, like 
had me pretty shook like i was shook i was shaking I've never seen casper the friendly ghost which is like pretty crazy right because that's like such a classic movie i also want to watch beetlejuice again i've seen that one but like a long long long, long time ago Oh, I watched The Night River Before Christmas too, not that long ago. Also, The Corpse Bride. You see, I've just been like catching up on like all these movies. So if you haven't seen any of these movies, I definitely recommend that you watch them. <laughs> I feel like this is why I'm very like in the Halloween spirit because like I didn't get that as a kid. I never used to dress up for Halloween. I first started dressing up when I was like in eighth grade. So my whole childhood, I didn't, didn't dress up. I didn't go trick or treating. I don't know what changed. I think, actually I do know what changed, but I won't get into that, that that's, that's, that's a different story. I've also just been like in a very cozy mood, like I'm wearing fuzzy socks and I've been like, oh the other day I like baked those um, Halloween cookies, the Pillsbury ones. I baked them for my boyfriend because he really likes those cookies. Um, I kind of personally don't like them that much, but they're fun to bake, I like baking, so um, I like doing that. And I've also been making like cups of hot chocolate with like a little bit of whipped cream and cinnamon on top so nice it really gets you feeling like very cozy and like at home and comfy okay so i asked on my instagram for you guys to ask me any questions that you had so i'm going to answer a little bit of your questions while i finish painting my pumpkin first question do you miss high school no not really no i miss certain aspects of it like i I miss hanging out with my friends every day and seeing them every day. I miss um, the after school activities. So do I miss it? No, not really, but in some ways, yeah. How do you get through high school and boys? Um, high school and boys. That is, that is a tough question. High school. Um, high school is only four years of your life and I know it feels like forever right now but it'll go by like that I promise you so getting through high school shouldn't be that big of an issue if you throw yourself in your studies and you make new friends and you make time for yourself and your family and everything of that sort try things that you haven't tried before um, I'm not saying do nothing crazy. Experience life a little bit. Over the next couple years after you graduate, you're gonna wanna know who you are. I feel like it's better to kind of start trying to find yourself and, and who you wanna be in the future at this point in time. Do that, focus on yourself first and foremost, on your health, on your mental health, on your studies, on your family, on your friends. If boys come along, then that is the key word, they come along. Sometimes there are gonna be boys that will come along into your life and you kind of know, more or less, no, you know. You know if they're like gonna be a serious thing or not. Just keep in mind that boys are kind of in high school and they don't really have a sense of Hmm, what's the word? Uh, there's a lot of words that are coming to mind, but not the right one. Anyways, um, they are just something else. So don't put too much focus and pressure on finding a boy that you like and that you want to spend the rest of your life with because that doesn't always happen for everyone. So I say have fun, be safe, but always keep your guard up. Always know that someone around the corner is gonna backstab you because it's high school and people are fake you have to have your own back at all times don't be too trusting also don't be too trusting because you could you know tell your friend a secret of yours and that whole can turn around and tell like tiffany or something you know so don't trust people i take that back don't trust a lot of people confide in a few friends and um you should be good to go What's the hardest part about being a content creator for you? That is a really good question. Um, there's actually a lot of things that are really hard about being a content creator. One of the main ones is when you work really hard on a video. You're taking your time filming, you're taking your time editing, you're putting all your energy into this video and you upload it expecting it to do extremely well. You expect your audience to receive it well and it just doesn't get the feedback that you wanted or it doesn't get the amount of views you wanted that kind of sucks especially right now since i'm still like a small creator um i feel a little discouraged sometimes because like i'll put my all into a piece of content and it doesn't get as much attention 
as some of my other pieces that I just throw together in a day, you know? So it just, YouTube has like a weird algorithm and just like, it's just, it's hard. <laughs> it is, but I'm not complaining, but I mean, I'm kind of complaining, but like it, it, it's hard. If you could visit anywhere in the world, where would you visit? I've always wanted to visit New York City since I was a little girl. I've always wanted to go there um, because of Broadway and like, it just seems like a magical city. So I would love to go there. I would also love to go to Thailand. I would love to go to Bora Bora. I would love to go to Japan. I would love to go anywhere, <laughs> anywhere, because I feel like I have been so like isolated from the world my entire life. I haven't traveled like anywhere, honestly. The farthest I've ever gone, I believe, is San Francisco, which is eight eight hours away from me or nine hours away from me something like that and my me and my family drove there so i've never even been on a plane <laughs> so i feel like i haven't experienced a lot in the travel world and i do really want to do that that's a very big goal of mine is to travel i would love to go anywhere oh hawaii oh my god i would love to go to hawaii like i feel like everyone's been there and like i'm just here at home not doing anything What's the update on the apartments that sent you to collections? Um, what is the update on that? <laughs> well, they sent me, they sent me to collections, apparently, and um, I haven't gotten anything in the mail or like anything from like my bank saying that my credit's up. So I'm not sure about that, but I have been getting calls from like random people and random numbers that like ask for my name. Um, which I feel like our credit uh, credit auditors is that's what it's called I don't know um, I feel like it's it may be that but it also might be a scam so like I don't know I don't know what's going on I don't know <laughs> I really don't know so um, I could be fine and they could they could have been just BSing me um, or my credit could be down the toilet don't know sis but uh, I'm trying not to think about it because I don't want to. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. And the last one I thought I would end on is from Daisy. Um, tell them when you ripped your pants in middle school. LOL. Um, <laughs> so I don't remember the like exact full story about this, but I do remember that I went to school one day. And I don't know if I went to school with my pants already ripped or if I went to school and I accidentally ripped my pants, but point blank, my pants were ripped and not just a little hole, no, 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 no. Uh, a big, a big hole down uh, the crack of my ass. My friend Daisy, she saw and uh, she was like, dude, you have a big hole in your pants. And I went to the restroom and I saw for myself and it was, it was scary. It was very spooky. She said that she thought that she had a pair of jeans in her locker, so, we had to both walk to the locker. This was me and this was Daisy and she was walking like this to cover my ass, literally. And we went to her locker and she did have jeans. She had jeans. And I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. She saved my ass, quite literally. Okay guys, so I finished my pumpkin so I'm about to do the big reveal. I hope you guys like it, oh my God. Okay, let's see. It's inspired by Hocus Pocus. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. I'm really bad at drawing lips. This one is actually really good. This is actually a really good representation of that one girl. I forgot her name. Um, I'll put a picture of her right here. But you know how she has like the mouth, like, like she she talks like uh, like that, and like look at that, look at that. I mean, come on, that's really good, right? This is inspired by the cover i guess there's a book there's like a sequel book i don't know if I, I don't really know i'll put a picture right here of what i'm talking about but yeah this inspired <laughs> this pumpkin i had a lot of fun painting it though i decided to paint a pumpkin this year instead of carving it because i've carved a pumpkin before and i don't know if you have but it's very hard it's extremely hard um especially when you're like carving it with like the 99 cent store like carving kit <laughs> It's, it's not great. Yeah, I think I'll go in later with more colors to make it vibrant, but that's it for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun spending time with you, talking to you, but I have a very spooky Halloween video coming to you on Halloween, October 31st, okay? So keep an eye out because it's a good one. It's a really scary one. So I can't wait to show you that. 
I will see you next week. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for new content every single week. Also, make sure to turn on my post notifications to be notified every single time I upload. As always, I love you guys very much, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!